This is the flex plate, flywheel, whatever you're going to be doing, whether it's a flex plate or a flywheel in this case. We have our flex plate install. Um, this is a beefed up, it's not a billet version, but it is a beefed up FI or SFI flex plate. Um, we've had pretty good luck with them. I think uh, Source Automotive also runs something like this on stuff up to about a thousand horsepower. It's not quite double thickness, but it's pretty close to a double thickness flex plate. Um, with that, on a normal flex plate, you would have your ring uh, where your bolts go through. We don't put these on when we're dealing with the double thickness flex plate because these bolts, the torque spec on these is 103 to 105. So I've seen it as low as 101 in a service manual somewhere, but um, so these guys really get cranked down and I don't, we, we leave it off to not compromise any of the length um, so that it gets as much bite as possible with the extra size of the flex plate. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at it here. So we have cleaned, again, as with everything, we have cleaned both sides of the of the flywheel. We want to make sure that nothing is going to, you know, need, no random piece of dirt or anything like that is going to get in between this and cause it to loosen up. And again, um, we're not using red Loctite on this. Uh, we're using some blue Loctite. They get torqued down and I don't think per the service manual it requires any Loctite at all. See if we can get that lined up now. All right, so we got one in. These are an 18 millimeter uh, bolt. So there we go. We're just gonna get that in there for the sake of that. And then we'll do these guys. I'm going to stick it on pause so that we don't waste your time. And uh, we'll skip right ahead to when we've got them all set in here. Okay, so we've, we've gone ahead and we've started our bolts. Another thing to be sure of is just go ahead and, and turn them all by hand. And some may be a little stiffer than others, but make sure that you don't have anything that's cross-threaded. And then we're going to go ahead and just run them in. And then snug them down. So run them in, snug them down, um, and we, the reason why we said go hand tight, I have, and I don't know whether it's something that I boogered because we were working on it in the truck or, uh, or whether or not it's something that happened before me, but on the black hole, the project that we were doing, there is one bolt that is, that was trying to strip. So... It could have probably been prevented if somebody had just taken a little bit more time um, to, to make sure that it was in there properly, whether that was myself or whether that was somebody else. You know, it doesn't really matter because it happened. So I'm going to go ahead and let the motor down just a little bit so that we don't have to fight it as we're torquing it. Just put a little pressure on it. All right, that ought to do it. Okay, so we're going to 105 feet pounds and we're gonna start off, I'm just gonna start off at 25. So we're gonna work the pattern. There's, they're already 225, so that one will be quick. All right, again, we 
like to err on the side of thorough. That is 50 will be our next stop. There we go. All right, so we've got a little bit of movement there. Okay, now we're getting into the territory where you've got to keep the motor from getting turned over. So I'm going to pause it and be right back. All right, so what we've done is, in this case, we grabbed the barring tool, and that works great for stopping the rotation of the motor. Um, you can, if you don't have a barring tool, I highly recommend grabbing one. I'll throw it in the links below um, just because they're so stinking handy if you're working on one, um, whether it's by yourself or not. But if you don't have one, just grab a screwdriver. You can come up with all sorts of stuff. You can fabricate a little tab that bolts in here and have, you know, held off of one of the front Crank bolts, uh, there's a, a numerous ways to do it, but that is certainly the easiest. All right, so we just hit 50. Now we're gonna go up to 75. All right, we will go torque these all down to 75 and then we'll be back. Okay, and this is the final step. We're taking these up in in uh, series. So this is 105. We just finished up 75. We're just going to run our pattern. Okay, and then we're going to do the last check. Make sure we didn't miss one, because you certainly know if you miss one, because it will, it will move. All right, and there it is. There you have your flex plate uh, installed. And torque spec again is between 101 and 105 is what they've got set there. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.